Hello, Adventure Explorers, and welcome to week three of Compassion Camp. We are so excited to see you this evening and glad that you are going on this journey with us as we're learning about compassion and love in Jesus Christ. Of course, I'm Pastor Meredith, our lead pastor at Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church, and I'm here with our wonderful Adventure Explorers Camp staff. We have Laud the Lamb and Laud's assistant, Cohen. We have Miss Laurie, who is our camp activities director. We have Joy, who's our camp counselor. We have Miss Becca, who's our camp music director. And then we have all of you who are our campers. And again, welcome, welcome. So I just am so excited that you are here. And I and all of us, we love you so much and we care about you so much. But you know, one of the things is also about caring about you is that I care about me too. Do you guys care about yourselves as well? Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, absolutely. Now, you know, just before I joined with you, I was brushing my teeth. Ah, here's my toothbrush and here's my toothpaste. Because, um, you know, that's a way that I can show that I care about myself, right? If I brush my teeth and take good care of my teeth, what happens if I don't brush my teeth and take good care of my teeth? Joy, what happens if I don't brush my teeth and take good care of my teeth? Your teeth hurt. My teeth hurt? What else? Oh, no. You get in trouble with your parents. You get in trouble with your parents. <laughs> oh, that is probably true. That's right. So, But that's one of the important ways I show that I take care of myself and that I can show love for myself. What about our bodies? What are some of the ways that we um, do to take care of ourselves and show that we love our bodies? We eat well, right? Well, when we eat well, what kinds of things do we eat, y'all? Vegetables. Vegetables. Mm -hmm. Green beans. You talk loud. Um, cheese. Cheese and dairy. Wonderful. All those things help us to grow strong. What about exercise? Do we have to move around? Yes. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's right. What about music and things that we read? Oh, that, yeah. Yeah, that helps us take good Even care of our yeah, souls lately. and our minds, yeah, doesn't it? That's right. Yeah. Well, you know, in church and in our adventure explorers, we talk a lot about loving others, but we also have to really begin that by loving ourselves. And when we care for our own needs, that helps us to be ready to care for other people's needs. And so uh, we're going to be all about showing that today and talking about that today. So get ready, Adventure Explorers, as we continue on with our worship and our singing. Hi, Adventure Explorers. It's time for us to do our song for the day. This song is called Spring Up Oh Well, and we're going to do it as a repeat after me song. As a repeat, repeat after, after me song. song. And a do as I do song. And, and a do as I do song. So here we go. There's lots of actions and words, so watch closely. I've got a river of life flowing out of me. I've got a river of life flowing out of me. Makes the lame to walk and the blind to see. Makes the lame to walk and the blind to see. Open prison doors, set the captives free. Open prison doors, set the captives free. I've got a river of life flowing out of me. I've got a river of life flowing out of me. Spring up, oh well. Spring up, oh well. Within my soul. Within my soul. Spring up, oh well. Spring up, oh well. And make me whole. And make me whole. Spring up, oh well. Spring up, oh well. And give to me. And give to me. That life abundantly, that life abundantly. Great job. Can we put it all together? You guys ready? Oh, we're yeah, ready. we're ready. All right, here we go. I've, I've got, got a river of life flowing out of me. Makes the lame to walk and the blind to see. Opens prison doors, sets the captives free. I've got a river of life flowing out of me. Spring up, oh well. And within my soul, spring up, oh well. And make me whole. Spring up, oh well. And give to me that life abundantly. Okay. 
Okay, Adventure Explorers, we're going to get ready to hear our Bible story. And we're going to hear in our Bible story some of the most famous words of Jesus. Instead of giving people a long list of rules to follow, Jesus gave us only two. But to follow these famous two commandments, we must begin with knowing how wonderful and how loved and how precious we are, each one of us. So as we prepare to learn more about that, I want you to join with me in our compassion prayer for the week. And I want to remind you that there is a color page in your file folder in your activity box that you can look at. It has the prayer right on it for you to color and keep with you during the week. But I want you to join with me in the prayer right now. So I want you to put one hand over your heart because when we pray, we pray with our whole bodies, our insides our hearts and with our minds so put a hand right on your head as well and then repeat after me as we pray gentle god thank you for your spirit within us who guides encourages and strengthens us help us see ourselves through your eyes with love and kindness and deep joy. May we love our bodies, treasure our hearts, and celebrate our spirits. Amen. Jesus and his disciples spent a lot of time in Jerusalem. One day, he was at the temple teaching and telling stories. A lot of people listened eagerly, but many had questions. The temple leaders and elders were unsure of him and asked, Who gave you the power to do and say these things? Some were jealous and wanted to trick him, so they asked, should the people pay taxes? Others were worried and asked him, what happens in the resurrection and the afterlife? Then one temple leader was curious about Jesus. He saw that Jesus was wise and kind. He asked him, which of God's commandments is the most important? Jesus answered, the first is what we all know. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. Yes. Before the leader could ask more, Jesus went on. The second is love your neighbor as yourself. These two are the most important of God's laws. Mm -hmm. You know, the leaders who question Jesus are worried about so many things. They're focused on things, though, that aren't related to loving God or loving neighbors or loving themselves. But Jesus tells us how important all three of those things are and that loving ourselves helps us love others and to love God, too. Thanks for joining in our story, Adventure Explorers. Hi, Adventure Explorers. And here for week three, do not forget your poster. And in your poster this week, you are finding and coloring people who are caring for themselves. They're taking time to have some compassion and care for themselves. So you want to look on the poster and find those people and color them. So don't forget about that. Then also in your box, thank you, you have week three, all of the information you need for this week. And the inspirational paper chains that you are going to make. You have these strips of paper, and then you'll need something to write with, 
And you're either going to write something or you could draw something that you like about you and things that you like about your family. Okay, and then you have the little sticky tabs in there. You're gonna put it together and then link them and you can display this really big long chain and we would love to see those pictures of your chains. Okay, so that is this week for week three. Bye guys. Hi everybody and it is time for yoga with Miss Lori Laud and his wonderful helper Cohen. And remember when we do yoga, we are showing compassion for ourselves. And that's what this week is about. Compassion for ourselves and taking care of ourselves and our mind and our body. And this is that body part, okay? That goes between us and goes between God. So it's gonna make us feel good and all stretched out and ready for the day. So, here we go. All right, let's sit down. We're gonna start sitting down. Now, we're probably going to have some boxer in the video from time to time. So, we'll just have to deal with it. It's kind of like yoga and goats, it's yoga and dogs. So, all right, as you sit on the floor with your legs crossed, take some slow breaths in and a slow exhale out. And as you inhale, I listen to myself and exhale with kindness. I listen to myself with kindness. I listen to myself with kindness. Now slowly rise and stand in mountain pose, arms straight and strong by your side. And take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And one more, in and out. In mountain pose, we feel our strength. We are unshakable. Now reach your arms up to the sky and then back down as you bend into a forward fold. And hands onto the ground or resting on your shins, whatever's comfortable. And then bring your hands up to your knees with your head looking forward. We prepare and focus our eyes forward. Now take a breath and put your hands back to the ground in forward fold. And now roll your spine up slowly and raise your hands above you. And lower your hips into chair pose. Sit as low as you can, taking deep breaths. We strengthen and stretch when we trust ourselves. Take another deep breath. And lower your arms to your side and stand up tall in mountain pose. And then bend down one more time into chair pose with your arms above your head. The more we trust ourselves, the stronger we grow. And take a deep breath in and out. And now from this pose, put both legs back into plank pose. Move whatever animals have gotten in your way. <laughs> And then lower further to the ground. Straighten your arms and stretch your upper body, head toward the sky into upward facing dog with dog licks. And hold this pose while breathing in and out a few times. Take your deep breaths. <laughs> there we go. Deep breath in and out. We face the sun and we welcome the day Whatever it holds for us. <laughs> and now for Luna's favorite, go from upward facing dog and uh, lower your upper body back to the ground and push your hips and legs up into downward facing dog and take a deep breath in and out. Now take a deep breath, breath in and as you exhale, lower your knees to tabletop pose. 
And from here, move into cat and cow pose. Breathe in, tuck your chin towards your chest and arch your back. And then breathe out and lift your head and push your tailbone up. Let's do this again. Breathe in and arch your back. Breathe out and lift your head. And again. Breathe in. And breathe out. And one more time. In cat cow pose, we need times to draw inward and time to stretch outward. Everything we feel is welcome. Now sit back on your heels and then roll your legs and feet out in front of you. Bring your knees up and straighten your legs into boat pose. Practicing balance is one way to be kind to ourselves and it's okay if you fall over, just try again. You can take a brief break if you want and then try one more time. Then following boat pose, row slowly back to fully lie down and breathe in, bringing knees into the chest and gripping each foot. You can bring your knees in, there you go, in happy baby pose. And you can rock back and forth side to side as you're breathing deeply in and out. I celebrate being God's child and love myself. One more time, just stretch really good right there. We got Luna to check it out. <laughs> now go ahead and stretch your legs back up, roll to your side, and move into a seated cross-legged position. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And go ahead and end with your hands in prayer position. And you can say namaste to us. Namaste. Namaste. And you can namaste. also say the light in me sees the light in you. The light in me sees the light in you. Thanks, guys. Um, sorry for some of the interruptions, but... It's a house and it's what happens. Bye. Hi, Adventure Explorers. It's time to do our song again. We're gonna do it through two times and this time we're gonna add a little splish splash in there. So watch for that. Here we go. I've got a river of life flowing out of me. Makes the lame to walk and the blind to see. Opens prison doors, sets the captives free. I've got a river of life flowing out of me. Spring up, oh well, swish, splash, and make my soul. Spring up, oh well, swish, splash, and make me whole. Spring up, oh well, swish, splash, and give to me that life abundantly. Here we go again. I've got a river of life flowing out of me. Makes the lame to walk and the blind to see. Opens prison doors, sets the captives free. I've got a river of life flowing out of me. Spring up, oh well, splish, splash within my soul. Spring up, oh well, splish, splash and make me whole. Spring up, oh well, splish, splash and give to me that life abundantly. Wow, Adventure Explorers, you did a great job. Hi, Adventure Explorers. Thank you so much for joining with us today. We had such a great time. Now, I need you to raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, state your name. I, Mara. Live, promise to. Promise to. Live as an adventurer. Live as an adventurer. Explore my faith and world. Explore my faith and world. And always remember. And always remember. That God loves me and you. That God loves me and you. See you next time, guys.